Tis the season to think about other people, right? But where are you getting that lesson from? Well, today, I'm getting that lesson from these kids. Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News First at 4 starts now. Hey guys, this might just look like a school art project, but it is so much more. What you're seeing right now is the art of children learning to care for others and teaching others to do the same. That's the story we're working on and it's coming up next. In more news, some Metro Detroit students are making this holiday season extra special. They're teaching the art of giving. Paula Tutman shows us what they're doing. Tis a season for giving, right? Right. You know what? Some people don't even learn that they have a responsibility to others, even as adults. So imagine learning that concept as a child and being able to teach that to other children. This might look like just an art project, but it really is so much more. The project at Detroit Country Day Village Campus is ornaments. Well, we're also, for the ornament thing, we're also making these little garments so they can hang around their, like, bunkers or things like that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Is this a pinwheel? Yes, yeah, yeah. a pinwheel. Yeah. Can you want to flip? Yes. Yeah. All right. For the last five years, this school has made ornaments for service people. They have to go overseas and do th and do things, and we have, and sometimes they don't even have to get to see their family in like two months. They've been collecting money for UNICEF forever. But something incredible has happened. An air of giving, an air of philanthropy has become part of the air these children breathe on a daily basis. And now they are making sure others their age feel the same. Brendan says normally he would use his allowance to buy, you know, stuff. Stuff, kids stuff. Stuff kids want. But this year was different. This is a bunch of kids who don't have enough things to survive through winter. They're going to run out of food. Um, they're going to catch the flu, and I just wanted to donate money so they have enough food, water, protection for them to survive through winter. He gave his whole allowance to UNICEF, money well spent in his book. These kinds of lessons learned from young and pure hearts have more power in the world in these troubled times to heal humanity. Of course, as children, they are terribly concerned with the plight of other children. All of us kids who are really lucky and have a bunch of things that we don't even need, if we cared about all those other kids, we could really make a difference. But in this spirit of giving of oneself, they've created a bit of a community, one in which even adults can learn. Well, I just want everybody to have a fair chance at life, and we have all those these things like food, water at our access, and some people in the world, they don't even have, you know, they have to look, and they don't know where their next meal is coming. We have school, we have food, we have water. I just really want them to be like us. Of course, some of the best lessons in life are learned from children. Paula Tutman, Local 4. Such an important lesson for kids and adults to know, too. All right, that's great.